Would you like to learn how to use Facebook sponsored messages within your Facebook Messenger marketing? Well, I'm going to show you that and I'm going to show you that now. All right, so let's get this party rocking. Uh, we're going to talk about Facebook, uh, Facebook Messenger, uh, Facebook Messenger sponsored messages. <laughs> Sorry, a little brain fart just now. Sponsored mess, sponsored messages, not sponsored ads. Sponsored messages. These are messages that you know you pay for. It's just like an ad. But you pay for them to be delivered into basically the way Facebook looks, anybody that has interacted or had a conversation with you. Obviously, that's a caveat. We're going to kind of cover that to make sure that you're not sending them to people that actually unsubscribed or don't want to hear from you anymore. And so we're going to kind of cover that as well. Uh, I'm going to show you. Here's a sponsored message that I received the other day. And I'm just going to move myself over there. And basically, it is uh, some text and it is a uh, image and some other stuff and then uh, interested. And you can see it says right here, sponsored. Oops. Sponsored right there. Oops. There you go. Sponsored right there. So that's the way it sent it in. I don't know what's going on there. So. That's what we're going to do and work on. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into Ads Manager. So what you want to do is go into Ads Manager. And we're going to start there. And we're going to create a campaign, a new campaign. And what you want to do, I don't know why it does this on my laptop. If I scroll down, it goes back up. Of course, there's always little glitches with Facebook. So if I a little smaller we want to go down here so you want to do what is your marketing objective it's messages and then you're gonna go down here and I'm just gonna say uh, test sponsored ad, uh, message not add message all right so I'm gonna say continue and now I'm going to move myself over here because that part doesn't matter over there. I'm going to make it a little bigger so we can read it. So now, once we picked our objective, which was messages, didn't say it up there, uh, we're going to create our ad set. And when you want to name it, and right here is where you're going to, we're not going to do click to messenger. And that's a lot of times what you're doing with the visual uh, hack or the visual way of doing um, kind of a JSON or using JSON to run your ads through the campaign messages, type messages. But what we want to do is click here and go to sponsored message. So it changes a little bit there. Uh, we do have to pick a page. And so we'll go over here and we're going to pick Cub Media Vox. And it's going to tell you a little bit about where it's going to go, how much it's going to send out. Obviously, I have fewer than um, 1,000 subscribers. So it's telling me that. Now, the thing is, is that you just have to remember is it says existing conversations. That doesn't mean subscribers in, in mini chat. That means conversations that you've had. That could include unsubscribe people so you got to be very careful with that and so when you're scrolling down here and we're going to do define your audience now granted by default it's going to send it to everybody that had an existing conversation you can leave it um, but then you you know run the risk of sending messages to people that don't want to hear from you so i would suggest creating a custom audience based on your subscribers in mini chat and it's very easy you can download a file with all the psids and then upload it and create it and 
up in the link above. I will have a video, and even at the end of this video, there will be a link to go to my other video that will teach you how to do that. But once you do that, you're going to come in here, and you're going to use Saved Audience. And include... Oh, save audience there. And uh, custom audience. So, oh yeah, create a, create a custom audience, but then you could pick one off the list. All right. So if I picked one like that, that one is going to be what they're going to use to get people. Now, if you want to exclude, you would pick another one to exclude so you could have a list a custom audience list of people that uh, are subscribers that unsubscribe or people that you don't want to send them to so you could put that in there um, we're gonna delete that and we don't want to do that but that's where you bring in a custom audience in and you could use that to make sure that you're sending them to only the people that you want and i would suggest doing that because the way the subscribers you have in Minichat does not always match to what Facebook, because Facebook is looking at conversations within Messenger. They're not looking at subscribers, unsubscribers, you know, those types of things. Now, they may be doing something internally. Uh, I would just be warned that that may not be correct. And so I would err on caution so that you don't get bad marks put on your page by people that got messages from you that, didn't want to hear from you, all right? So, and you could target, you could do all this stuff. So, I mean, you can do all these things as far as the audience, just like you do for an ad. Uh, placement, you can't change the placement. Um, it's just automatic because it's in Messenger. And that, and, and they do say that right here. Automa automatic placements are disabled because sponsored messages is only available within Messenger. So that's where it's going to be sent. Uh, budget. You can set up your budget. You can do a lifetime. You can do a daily. Um, I can do a daily for five bucks. You know, right now, this is the way it's set up. It may be set up at the campaign level at some point. Um, but right now, that's what you set up. And then you can, you know, adjust your schedule. And it's going to be impressions. And here's your bid cap, $30 per thousand. And so you could change that. How it works, you know, you can just read this. We'll get the lowest cost results, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's impressions and um, spend your budget and get results quickly as possible. You could accelerate or you could do standard, get results throughout your selected schedule based on the schedule you have up here. Um, you could just run, you can run my ad set continuously starting today. And you'll spend no more than $35 per week. And it just starts sending them. Now, what I've heard is that it's not sending them all at once. It kind of spreads them out. And so it may take a little bit of time to get them all out there. Just a word of warning. So we're going to hit continue. And now we're going to go into the ad. Now, the ad, you could do text or you can do text and image. So basically, if you, you see this one right here, there's text, uh, image, and then an image title. That is very similar to, let's see, very similar to this right here. See, um, you got text, you got an image, and then you got a title, and then you got a button. All right. So that's what he did there. So we're going to go back in here, and I'm just going to do text for now. I don't want to bring an image in right now. And we're going to get down here to the quick replies. You can either pick a quick reply, get out of there, or a button. Now we go back to this example. There's a button. You know, they used a button there. So you have two choices here, and we'll go through both of them. But what we first have to do is we have to have something that they'll go to. And I think what I'm going to do is so there's two ways of doing this. One is the quick reply and using the quick reply text to kick off a keyword. This is very similar to doing the visual versus the JSON. Um, when you're doing uh, regular ads, 
and running, you could do JSON or visual. The visual uses a keyword. You do the same thing here. So what I've done is I created a keyword yoga. And it's going to fire off mm, this flow. So it's going to have a picture, some text, uh, another offer type of you can buy your yoga now, you know, type of thing. So you're sending an offer and you can. So if you look at this, I mean, you're paying, you're paying for this sponsored message. So you can actually have promo right in it because you're paying. It's an ad, basically kind of like an ad right in, right in their feed or right. I mean, right in their account to you, that you're connected right in your subscribers uh, account directly to them. So let's go back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do yoga. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this quick reply yoga. Whoops, yoga. There you go. And so I'll test this. I'm just going to move me out of the way again. Test this. Actually, I'm going to put myself in the middle because that's going to be going to go into Messenger. So we're going to go into Messenger. I'm going to send it to Messenger. And there it is right there. So here it is. And so if I hit this, so this is a sponsored message that I sent myself. And there we go. We fired off the flow right off the keyword. We go back to the ad. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then you can confirm, you can enter, and then it's going to start sending this out to everybody that is on the list based on the audience you picked. Now, you can do it another way. You don't have to do keyword. You can use a button. So we're going to use a button, and we're going to say yoga on here, but it's not going to be turned into a keyword, and we're not going to send them to a website. Now, you could, and then you just put the website. When they click the button, they go to the website. But then you're sending them outside of Messenger. I mean, obviously, if there's something where you're doing a video or you're doing something that's on YouTube or something, obviously, you're going to send them out. But here, what we're going to do is we're going to make this button do the same thing that the quick reply did. But I'll show you how to, how to get that done. What you need to do is you need to send post back. And the post back is within the JSON ad where we can get that. So what you're going to do is go in here and we're going to go into growth tools. And I created a JSON growth tool. So if you don't haven't done that before, you hit new growth tool. You go down here. You need the pro version to do this. You have Facebook ads JSON. All right. We're going to go back out here and we're going to go into this one. I should just skip that. Um, so you have your opt-in message. Your opt-in message has to have a button in order or a quick reply to in order to continue. And what I've done is I've edited this opt-in message because they're not going to get this. So basically what you're doing with your sponsored message is you're replacing this with this right here it's basically what you're doing and they're forcing you to pay to do that so <laughs> that's what facebook's doing so what we're doing is we want we want to fire this off with our button this button here we want to fire this off and so what i did is here's here's the um generic one that comes you know, it usually has this, and then it goes down to this one saying, hey, Greg, contact you as soon as we have a deal for you. Um, that's what MiniChat puts in when you create a JSON growth tool. I deleted the connection, and I said, let's run another flow, which is this flow. The same one that I triggered with the keyword, I'm going to trigger with this button. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So once I have this in place, because this is what we want to fire. We don't want this, which won't if you follow these directions. So we're going to go back out. So now we have our message all set up. And I'm going to go to next. And what we're going to do is here's the JSON. You know, you probably looked at familiar. This is for the JSON ad. You're going to copy this JSON and run your JSON ad. What you want is you want the payload because that's what they're asking for here. Bot payload. All right. 
what we're going to do is we're going to take the payload inside the double quotes. So don't include the double quotes. You're going to grab that, copy it, and you're going to put it in there. And that's it. So now your button is going to be functional. So let's test this one out. We're going to run it in Messenger. We're going to go over here. There it is. Uh, this is this is part of the original when I ran the keyword. And I got this. So now we're going to do the same thing. Is we're going to please let us know how we can help. I want yoga. I know it's cryptic <laughs> message, but and see now it fired it off again. I'm just firing the same one off. And yes, it it did put yoga out there. Um, actually, here I'll prove it that it didn't fire the keyword off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change the text to "I want yoga." All right, so I can prove it to you that it's not actually. I don't want to even put yoga in there. I want the class. Because yoga in any statement would fire off keyword if you set it up right. I said message is yoga. Um, it could be message contains yoga. So yeah, it would be have to be message contains to fire off on a sentence. But I'll just show it to you. I want the class. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fire this off in Messenger again. And... Hopefully it shows up. <laughs> there we go. I want the class. So I'm going to fire that off. And there you go. It fired it off. And so what it's doing is we go back here. Oh. <laughs> Do that. So what it's doing, it's firing this part off. And that's what the payload that's in here is doing. Payload is just firing off that little part, and that's all you got to do. So that's it. That's how you're going to do sponsored messages. Uh, it's not that hard. Uh, they're not that expensive. Um, I think it's, you know, granted, Facebook wants to make us pay um, and make us pay to play. Uh, but I think it's, it's a pretty good uh, option. As the subscription messaging and all the, the broadcasts go away come the end of July, I believe, or end of June, end of July, you know, sometime in the summer, that this is a great option. So take a look and check it out. One of the things, as I had mentioned during the video, is that remember to look at the custom audiences based on your current subscribers just to make sure that you're sending them out right and just look for the video here at the end or up here that will show you how to create that custom audience that you then you could use in this process i've covered everything if you have any questions let me know that concludes our video for today on how to set up the facebook sponsored messages so that you can use them in your facebook messenger marketing and using them with mini chat and your subscribers. Remember to do create a custom audience of your subscribers so that you're only sending them to the people that want to hear from you. And there's a video at the end. You can link here that you can go check that out and how to do that. But I think sponsored messages is a great way to stay in communication with your subscribers, especially with the rules that are be changing this summer that broadcasts are going to be going away. If you have any questions or comments, Please post them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And as always, like the video, share it across the world, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. A little bell so you do get notifi notification when a new video is uploaded. Down in the description, I have a link to a great Facebook group, all like-minded people sharing things. Come on and join us. And as always, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.